Hi and welcome to Game Creation and this is our last video in our Missile Command uh, series of videos. We've been doing this for a couple of weeks and this is the key one. This is the uh, bit where we change it from looking kind of like Missile Command to looking a lot like Missile Command. We need to have those lines behind the missiles. So well done if you've guessed the method correctly. Um, but we're going to be trying to put an underlay um, on below our game on a separate layer and we're going to be using the draw object to just draw the lines and it's a really powerful object i think it only works in windows i'm not quite sure uh, it definitely doesn't work on ios or android at all. i say definitely but i don't think it does but it's actually an object that's very very much like how you would program this for instance in javascript which we looked at the other week so let's get started so what we want to do is open the same project that we've been using in the last couple of weeks and we'll go to the layers toolbar which for me is over here and we're just going to add a new layer but we're going to put that layer underneath um, so it's going to be like a background layer okay what I'm going to now do is I'm going to now going to go and find the draw object now you might need to go into the manager and you might need to type in draw object uh, and download it and as you can see it only is in windows so it doesn't um, support Flash, iOS, or Android, or anything like that. Um, so install it, you click on it, and click Install. I've already got it, so you I don't need to click Install. And then you, it should come up here next time you open the dialog. Now it's an invisible, it's a, it's a kind of invisible object, um, but it's not one that you just put out on the screen. Um, so we need to uh, make it the whole, um, width and height of the project, which I cannot remember what our width and height is. One one oh nine and a thousand. So um, one one oh nine and one thousand. Okay, so the uh, width and height of the draw object is the width and height that we want it, <laughs> which will be the whole screen. Um, now at the moment, I think we. Um, can't see anything else uh, so well, how do we do it well, we just click on that one so we can just see everything on our screen so you can see the background there but if I click run you won't see the draw object at all um, but it does show up as white so we want to change that first of all so what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new group and we're going to call this the draw object group and so um, at start of frame, we want the draw object to have a background of white. Uh, so change paper color. Uh, so we want it to be black, don't we? Like that. Let's see if that changes. There we go. Okay, now with this one here, uh, with the enemy missiles, every one hundredth of a second we're moving um, the missile. But what we also want to do is draw the line for the missiles. Okay, so, <laughs> and this is uh, involving me remembering. So draw line, okay, and we want the line to start at the X and Y. So draw a line to point. So we need to actually uh, move the pointer first. So this is me remembering, or we can just draw a line thing yeah okay so we need to set the move pointer so that will move it's like um, having your pencil on the paper this moves it whilst it's off the paper and then if we draw a line to that position that will actually hold the pencil down here and move it to here so uh, I think do we have a starting position so start Y and start X. So um, now this is the problem: is that um, we need this to know which one of these it's talking about, and at the moment it, we this is kind of happening to all of them. Um, so we'll need a kind of loop here. So, fast loop, start loop. 
and we'll need a loop for um, oh loop enemy missiles and I think this counter counts the amount of missiles uh, I'm kind of doing this roughly at the moment on loop that and then we insert that the um, or triple value for the enemy missile. So we're comparing the index is equal to the fast loop index. Um, and we want to add one to that because the index starts at zero. I think the index of the enemy missiles doesn't start at zero, but maybe it does. I think I'll get rid of that plus one. We'll just see what happens. And then we want to draw the line. So let's get the um, start X and start Y. And then we've got the target X and target Y. So well, we want the actual position, don't we? Not interested in the target. So position x coordinate and position y coordinate. No idea where this will work, but it'd be fun to have a go. <gasps> How cool is that? Now I have absolutely no idea why that stopped. I think I've put some extra code in there. So let's just stop that and figure out why that stopped. I think it's probably something to do with the fact that we're looping through them and we're doing this separately. So I'm just going to drag this into here and see whether, uh, and I'm probably going to move these events to the bottom. So move them first and then move that to the bottom. Let's just have a look and see whether that's working better. There we go. How cool is that? And it just works so nicely. Now, the problem with this is it's putting lines on lines on lines, and we don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to completely clear all of this. So we want to clear paper. So double click on that. So we're going to clear the paper before the loop start. So if I run it now, and I destroy one of these, it destroys the lines as well, which is good. Because for my game, I don't want the lines to stay there and how cool is that that's looking a lot better okay and let's just get the um, uh, the player missiles in as well so we've got to be careful here because we've got this in two places so we've got um, a separate one here for the players ones and so what I want to do is just get that into kind of the same um, loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fast loop, start loop, and I'm going to do loop player miss, and we'll do it the amount of times for this. And what I'm going to do is just drag this up here to put it with this one, and we're going to call this loop player miss, get rid of the every one second and it will be the index of the player missiles is equal to loop player miss so we'll just do the same thing for, for that and then we're going to move the tool to the start x of the players missile and then the start y of the player's missile. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Start y of the player's missile. Like that. And then we need to just change the second one as well. And we just change this to player. Let's 
just the X and the Y coordinates. Okay, so let's give this a go. There we go, brilliant. Looking good. Okay, next thing we can do is actually change the colors. So um, the line is an outline, um, not a fill. Fill is within a shape, but a line doesn't have any like space within it. So change outline color and it will be red for the enemy. And we've got to do that before we draw it. And, and we can just keep it as a blue for the player. Perfect. Let's run that now. We have a nice blue line for the player and a red line. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> out of missiles in that middle one. We've got a nice blue line for the player and a red line for the um, for the enemy missiles. Perfect. Just wish I was better at this game. <laughs> So this actually will give you an opportunity to develop it further. Um, so there's all sorts of things I haven't done in this um, build yet. Um, but did I clear canvas? Okay, so now that we've finished this project and it looks pretty d darn good, this is my time to remind you of sending any suggestions of things you want me to create, things you want me to cover. i uh, already got a couple of really great suggestions. Um, and we're not looking at replicating the game perfectly, although that might change. I have an idea of a project that I quite fancy doing, uh, which I might do next week which will uh, rely on maybe a bit more precision uh, than we than we used to, but we shall see. Um, now, also, if you uh, make your own uh, version of this game and try and spend a little bit more time on uh, making it like polished and stuff, uh, then please let me know. I'm quite interested to see a kind of perfect version of this game. Otherwise, thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.